dessert. Well, turkey is usually the item served at Thanksgiving, and for many families, Christmas, they like to do ham, but that doesn't always have to be the case. We have Mike Grillo, owner here of Grillo's Chop and Barrel. Mike, it's been a while, but you're back. Yeah, yeah, I think we were here over the summer. You were, you were, and now as the seasons change, so do some of the items on the menu. What have you brought in for us today is some great items that families can use for Christmas. For yeah, home. so we got a few different things. Um, right now, we just started rolling back out our bourbon peach meatballs, which are these guys right here. Um, those are already cooked meatballs and uh, one ounce uh, meatballs, and they're in our homemade bourbon peach barbecue sauce. Ooh, and they amazing. are fantastic uh, for a whole batch, makes about six pounds. We use about six ounces of bourbon. So there's a good amount of bourbon in there for some good flavor. Uh, but those are already cooked at the shop. They're ready to go. Just toss them in the microwave or the crock pot, and they're, they're ready to roll. Well, you're making life easy, and you had me at bourbon peach. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> what about this over here? Yeah, so that is our carne asada. Uh, we make our own carne asada marinade in-house as well. Um, so we take flank steak. Uh, we cut it into strips. Uh, we let it sit in the marinade for about two to three days before it sees the case. And then we get it out on the case, uh, and it is ready to go in a skillet. Uh, the wife and I love to use these for some tacos. Uh, sometimes you can do some different Christmas dinners. You know, it, it's very Christmassy in color, the red <laughs> and the green. Um, but they're fantastic. Throw them in a skillet, sear them real quick, let them cool down and kind of simmer in the sauce. And, man, they make some fantastic tacos uh, or stir fry or anything along those well, lines. Well, Mike, you are two for two over here. Last <laughs> but not least, what is this beauty? Yeah, so this is a more typical thing, what we see for Christmas. Uh, this is about a two and a half pound, three pound tenderloin uh, trimmed and tied roast. We do a lot of these for, for Christmas special orders. We probably do about 50 uh, around Christmas time. Um, we live at the butcher table making these for Christmas. Uh, but we get a lot of orders of these, anywhere between two pounds all the way up to six pounds. Um, but a very, very good piece of meat, super tender, uh, great flavor. A lot of people will use some kind of, uh, of marinade or sauce to put over these, but they're just an absolutely fantastic, rich, decadent piece of meat for nice. Christmas. And it's a tradition, really. And it's Grillo's Chop and Barrel. Fine meat, you have the fine meats covered. We have yet to get to the whiskey. We have yet this to get to the whiskey. This is kind of your playground, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to make a quick drink on here. Oh, let's do uh, it. Real quick. And so um, we have this stuff. Now we get dessert, right? That's the, <laughs> that's the fun part of Christmas. Uh, so I'm going to take you through my quick uh, recipe here. Um, so we start with this. Uh, this is a crown bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. Ooh. So maple syrup aged in a bourbon barrel. We do about a half ounce of this per two ounces of whiskey. So we're going to do about a quarter ounce in there and then we're going to put a, uh, an ounce of whiskey in as well. Um, so for our whiskey, we are going to use another one of our store picks. If you remember these last time, they have the fun little labels on they the back. <laughs> um, this is Barrel King out of Bourbon, Missouri. Uh, this is a caramel apple uh, store pick we did. So it just has some oh, delicious caramel nice. apple notes to it, which is very festive for the holidays. Uh, so we're going to do an ounce of this guy. And I love how those fall flavors transition very well into the holidays. That they do, very much so. So we got that, and then we got some bitters here. So this is from uh, Woodford Reserve. And then the spiced cherry bitter. So there's a little bit of cinnamon in here, and that cinnamon really kind of helps meld that apple and the cherry kind of flavors together. Just brings it out. Man, in it, yeah, it makes a fantastic old fashioned. So we do uh, a little dropper of that. Bloop. Bada right bing, in there. Bada boom. And last but not least, well, we forgot our, I forgot my spoon here. Oh, it's okay. We do, uh, a TV we like magic. to do a, a little Luxardo cherry here. So we drop a cherry in there. And then we are good to go. Give that guy a little swirl. It and smells for, for a lot of people, yeah, if you want to, you want to give that a smell, it is. Uh, it smells fantastic. For a lot of people, um, they like to drink theirs over like one big cube or multiple cubes. There's really no right or wrong way to drink it. Um, so you just kind of, you know, whatever you prefer is uh, is the way you you can go about it. Um, this one was 126 proof whiskey, so probably a few. A few cubes Ooh. of ice would be good for most people. Um, but that's a great way to, to end your evening. Yeah. Um, we also have uh, these guys, which are uh, Adrian Fuse cocktail. Um, this is a, uh, a basically a pre-made cocktail. So if that was too much work for you, 
You just take this guy. They've already done the hard part. Right, they've done the hard part. You just pour some whisk in here, let it age for about three days with the, uh, the cool stuff there. Um, and then you just pour it right over ice and nice. you're ready to go. Well, it's the best of both worlds and St. Louis. Not only are you getting fine meats and delectable whiskeys, you are also shopping and supporting local. It's Grillo's Shop and Barrel. And if you're at home, you're watching and you want to visit them, you absolutely can. We'll make sure you have access to all their information on our website at studiostl.tv or where are you guys located? We are in Lake St. Louis, 6289 uh, Ronald Reagan Boulevard in Lake St. Louis, uh, right at Highway 364 and in. I've been there just a little over two years now. Well, so, congratulations. Thank you. We love all the love and support that you show us here on Studio STL in St. Louis. You can enjoy all of that love and support yourself with some fine meat and some great whiskey. Again, we'll make sure you have access to all that information on our website, studiostl.tv. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.